morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Culture. And today, uh, I'm fishing with Mel. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we get some action. I'll be targeting uh, kingfish. Um, maybe try for some shad. Water looking quite nice. Slightly uh, discolored, but that's not a problem. Hopefully, there's a cob around. And I'm with Mel. Mel. How's it, guys? Uh, we're fishing today here in Comas. Uh, today, the water seems to be nice. A little bit discolored. Anyway, I'm going to be targeting the, the rock fish. So probably a brush or a stumpy. Oh, yeah. What bait are you using, boy? Bait is the uh, rose crab. Now it's a little bit hard to get a ghost crab, we have to dig a lot. But uh, anyways, we're going to try and see what goes on. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we get all the fish. Yeah, see what happens. Let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Guys, stay tuned. Hopefully we get some action today, man. Quite... Um, <laughs> I'm tired of losing all those fish, so let's hope we can uh, we can get something. I have made a few adjustments. Um, after watching that video over and over again, I realized that um, I could have had my drag a little bit too tight. Um, and you know what? It was a decent sized fish. Uh, to me, it could have been a, a muscle cracker or a kingfish. And um, Maybe I should have just gave it a little bit more line. Maybe it was a slacker drag. Let the fish pull, take you straight down, go for a run, 10, 15 meters, and you know, once it's tired enough, then only try and uh, lock up on the drag. But yeah, I think we all, um, we all learn from our mistakes. Hopefully I'm not gonna make that mistake again. But um, yeah, looking forward for today. Wish us all the best. Thanks guys. We are be using a Saber Assassin Spoon 12, 2 piece and a 6500 Metalloid and a Sinker 4 ounce and a Ghost Crab with a floater on it. Okay. So, guys, crab. how the trace is tied? Sure. All the best, Mel. Okay, guys. Trace for today. Similar to what uh, I had the last time. Choker bait, green and orange, lucky beads. <laughs> well, it hasn't been that lucky recently. Eh? <laughs> um, and I decided for a five ounce uh, grapnel sinker. That's because it seems as if it's pulling towards the left. So I just want my bait to hold a bit. Uh, 0.65 leader line, about a meter and a half in length. 0.70 hooks nut and obviously sinker line much lighter so it breaks off if I do get a get a fish on and reminds me I'm just gonna make a knot on my sinker line just like that okay just in case it, if it has to break off when a fish is on it will. All right, guys. Yes, guys, 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 there, there, there we go. Mel on. Mel is on. Give it line, Mel. Give it line. Give it line. There we go. Finally, some action, man. Looks like something decent guys, could be a copper, could be a stumpy, early morning you do get that. Wait, 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 what's that boy, stumpy? 
Bring it, bring it on the rocks. Bring it on the rocks. Go towards the sand, Mel. Go towards the sand. Don't try and lift it up from there. On the sand, man. On the sand. There we go, guys. Oh, finally. Looks like a lovely stumpy. There we go. <laughs> on the board. On the board. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, what you got to say, my man? Hey. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Lovely. Lovely fish. What a lovely fish, man. What it took? What you got you on? On crab, bait, Ghost crab. Ghost crab, guys. Yeah. Lovely, man. Well done, my man. Let's get another one. <laughs> Look at this. Top soft now. A decent start to the morning with uh, Mel getting a lovely stumpy and um, that was caught um, around there we are fishing on the on the rocks on the point and yeah just around there he was taken down and he caught that with the ghost crab so I decided to take a walk and see if I can uh, show you guys um, how to get this ghost crab at the moment I can't really see much generally winter time guys it's difficult to get them you don't just uh, you don't see them running around on the sand like what they do uh, in summer uh, well when it's warmer um, but there we go this is what you normally look for right they like they dig up holes and you'll find like a small heap of sand so i'm gonna try and see if i can Yo, okay the sand is too hard there okay let's go further this way let's see if i can find something here guys weather is beautiful like 30 minutes before we can leave home it was pissing it was raining absolutely heavy and you know we actually decided whether we should go down or not and uh, yeah it turned out to be a wonderful morning uh, okay there we go not sure if you guys can see this but There. So guys, the, the area that I'm walking in now is a restricted area, I'm not allowed to fish, uh, to fish here. Um, you can fish as far as where you see the rocks there on the front and you can fish way after that but this area here is restricted. Quite nice places to fish, but I must say, uh, we caught some decent fish here in the past before this place was locked down. Yeah, I 
to to get these uh, ghost crabs you gotta dig so deep for it um, they just go way deeper into the sand just to uh, think because it's so cold it's gonna keep warm a bit but it's as you can see it produces guys ghost crab is quite a nice bait sure you know that you have to have a license for it you can't just use it without having a permit for it and uh, falls under your crustaceans no. okay I think I found a small hole, so let's see if I can show you guys how this is done. Yeah, let me just have a look at this. Okay, yeah, so should get one somewhere here. Let's see. Alright. That's how you that's how you get them luckily enough this one wasn't too deep sometimes you have to dig like almost your arm length yeah but absolutely brilliant bait um, as you can see stumpy love it uh, even the muscle cracker like it and black tails silver brim majority of the, the rockfish tend to go for this and uh, since I have it, I think I'm going to give it a shot with this. I hope this was quite informative. Um, but yeah, that's how you get those crab guys in winter when you have to dig for them and they're just not lying around and uh, on the sand. Sure guys, just a quick demo guys on how I normally pin this. Um, if you're targeting like muscle cracker and stuff like that, you'll probably put them whole. All you need to do is just break off the, the back leg and uh, put a 304 hook on, a little bit of cotton over and uh, chuck it in. But for now, I'm going to show you another way that I normally Not put for it. sensitive viewers, okay? So, and also guys, I just got one, right? 
Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see whether the fish want it or not. Don't go and get a whole lot, and then um, you just kill them for nothing, for no reason. So what I do is I break off the legs. All right, legs are out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, and all I do is top shell out. Yes. Recording. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And now I'm left with just the body piece. So you break your break the body in half and you just link them guys, right? So as you can see, all the holes to the legs are exposed. Just link them. Like that. Take the other half. And that's basically what your bait looks like. Um, guys, this bait is potent. It is potent. And uh, as you can see, Mel got a stumpy on it. And hopefully I get something now. <laughs> <laughs> but the water is quite low. So um, it will be quite lucky if I do get a bite. But I'm going to try it on and uh, let's see what we get. Thanks, guys. Okay guys, so unfortunately no luck with the big rod, so I packed that up and uh, decided to scratch amongst the rocks now. So I'm fishing with my 3 piece 12 foot assassin, um, SL30 and my double loop running face. Let's see if we can get something. Stay tuned. As you can see guys not the best uh, water conditions it's, there's a lot of sand mixed in and I think that's because of the heavy winds and the downpour that we had um, Mel's fishing on the left of me and he says there's just some small peckers around but we're gonna still persist uh, wait for the tide to come in and see what we can get there so maybe another hour, hour and a half, and uh, yeah, and then we'll pack it up. But it's been a nice day. Small pickers in the front. Could be a black tail. Oh look, Woo. 
Guys, check this fish. How's the colors of this? What a beautiful fish. Check this out guys. It's got like yellow, purple, blue. Here you go. Another small fish. It's like a I'm sure. Could be a black tail. There we go. a nice size black tail guys at least on the scoreboard man Hey, I hooked him properly, boy. Right in the front. Check the teeth on this thing. Like a black tail, guys. Let's put him. Put him in a small pool now. we go another juvenile black tail this one can go back in oh shit there he goes How's it guys? Okay, that brings us to the end of uh, our session and quite a enjoyable one. Uh, we managed to get one decent uh, stumpy caught by Mel and a nice size blacktail. We did catch a few uh, small fish which we have released and uh, yeah, overall it's been a very nice trip. Guys, um, just a big thank you to everyone that has uh, subscribed and uh, everyone that's supporting this channel um, you guys are the driving force I'm sure you'll know that by now so it makes us happy to see you guys enjoy uh, the stuff that we put on and um, yeah keep on watching guys keep on watching stay tuned and Mel what you got to say there hey guys uh, all in all we had a good sub out with you today uh, what is not looking that bad, but uh, tomorrow is work, we will rest. We got one stumpy and one nice uh, size black tail. What are you going to do with the stumpy, Mel? The stumpy will take it home, see if we can cook it up. 
Make a nice biryani. Make some nice biryani. <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys for supporting this channel. Thank guys, you. just on that uh, biryani, stumpy biryani, absolutely delicious. And uh, I'm sure Mel will enjoy it because the person that will be cooking it is my mother. <laughs> so, uh, Mel is my brother-in-law for those of you who don't know and uh, yeah we uh, we go a long way we fished a lot together we caught a lot of fish together and uh, now we want to show you guys what we catch so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned till the next one cheers